right, all right. Today's the big day for the second part of the video. I got FedEx just pulled up the front door. Let's see what they got. I'm excited for phase two of the bull redfish setup. As you guys saw in the little intro rollout, this is the Falcon Coastal Clearwater seven foot four medium heavy action rod. Now, uh, this is a very, very stiff medium heavy. I would probably call it a heavy rod more than I would a medium heavy rod. Um, this is their Coastal Clearwater series. Now, this is the step up from the Coastal XG series that they have. So the power ratings on these are, in my opinion, one step above where they should be. Uh, I called Falcon about a week ago and talked to Sam. He's a product engineer there. I told him exactly the application I'm looking for, and he set me on this rod. He said, Dan, this rod is gonna be more than capable of handling your big bull reds, your big 35, 40 inches out there, um, and we will back our product. So no worries there. Uh, the next question I had is the stamp on it. It is stamped one quarter to three quarter. I said, Sam, I'm gonna be throwing some big stuff. Is that three quarter gonna be uh, not enough for it? He said, no. They rate their rods as far as the uh, lure weights a little lower than it should be. He said, you should be good up to about an ounce and a half and I'm gonna hold him to it because I'm gonna throw some big stuff and we're gonna see how this thing does. But uh, I can't say enough good things about Falcon Rods. If you guys don't know who they are, uh, check them out, falconrods.com. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, they just make great products. Uh, I got this rod on clearance for $79, normally $120, $130 a rod. Got a killer deal, can't pass up on a deal just like I talked about in some of my previous videos. So let me show you how I'm going to rig this rod and reel combo and some of the cool stuff I'm going to throw with it. Uh, so like I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to throw a 20 pound Power Pro. I've got that tied onto a 50 pound liter material. Uh, my knot is a uni to uni knot. I went nine twist on the braid and five twist on the leader and I don't think that is going to pop. That's some serious heavy weight. I'm gonna start off with about 30 inches of, uh, of leader material. I've got a loop knot. I went four turns and I left a little tag in. That little tag's gonna give me the ability to have a little slippage without it uh, pulling the knot through. And here's what I'm gonna start off with. This is a six inch Z-Man Swimmers. Now this is the break and brim color. Uh, it's got a little more silver than I normally throw, but out there in these clearer waters with sandy bottoms, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Uh, six inch bait profile, and that is paired with a 12 aught one ounce SWS chin lock by Z-Man. Uh, this is a serious hook, you guys. If you, if you put one of these in your hand, it's got some serious weight, and there's a reason why they want $3.50 for one of these guys. Um, so I got a pack of those. I got a, a pack of the three quarter ounce as well. That way I can get out there. And if I'm not feeling the bottom and I need to up my weight or it's too much weight and I need to reduce the weight, I can make a switch on the fly. So here's my soft plastic option. Um, let me show you some of my hybrid options. So how about just a good old bucktail jig? This is a three quarter ounce. I've got it paired with a uh, four inch diesel minnow. I've got the rattle beads in it. This thing is gonna look really nice bumping it on the bottom. These white horse hairs are gonna flutter around and they're gonna grab the, the uh, fish's attention, not to mention this thing is gonna have procure on it and it's gonna have the rattle beads. So this is gonna be a really, really good combo. Um, making noise, how about just a Z-Man chatterbait? This is their half inch chatterbait. I got it paired with that four inch uh, golden boy diesel minnow Z that I showed you guys in the last video. That gold is like a neon sign. It's incredible how, how much gold's on that thing. I'll slather some procure on this guy too. It's, it's amazing. The amount of noise this thing makes will get any kind of a fish's attention and bring it over. Okay, so let's talk hard baits. I got about three that I'm gonna use. I don't have to have many. I just need to have what I know can work. This is the Meridine 37 MR. This is the biggest one that I have found that they make. It's got some serious saltwater hooks on it. Uh, I will probably leave these trebles on. I mentioned before in my other videos about pulling uh, trebles off because I bend hooks. I don't think I will bend these hooks. If I bend one out and lose a redfish, I got some big inline hooks I'll tie on and call it a day. But when you guys want to cast with these things, these, in, these Meridines all cast about the same and get retrieved about the same. When this thing hits the water for every second, 
goes by after it hits the water. It's gonna submerge one foot in depth. So know the depth that you're casting this thing into, and once you get it to that depth, start the flash. Bang, 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 37 MR. Here you go, here's a six inch live target, slow sinking bait. It's got gold, it's got black, it's got a light colored bottom. It's got the, uh, the gills that are nice and red as well. I like the way this thing looks. It's nice and segmented, it's gonna swim really well. And it also has some nice beefy saltwater hooks and it rattles. Lots of noise, lots of flash, get the attention. Six inch bait. Seven inch bait. This is the sea bile. This is their uh, Magic Swimmer 165. This thing is a serious looking bait. Bass Pro had it on sale. They knocked like three bucks off of it. So I jumped on it. It's got some serious saltwater hooks as well. It's nice and segmented, bigger bait, bigger profile. It's got the rattle beads. It'll get their attention. And this is the kind of stuff that I'm gonna be out there throwing on this medium heavy setup. So that's it. This is the exact combo that I'm going to get out there and I'm going to target these big bull reds with using artificials. Um, I'll do some trips where I go out and fish with live mullet and other uh, species like that of live baits. But this first trip that I do is going to be all artificial because I'm an artificial type of guy. Um, I do have lots of other fun videos planned for you guys though. Um, I won't be doing all artificials all the time. I'll be working in some live bait uh, videos. I'll do some really cool fun trout videos on some killer trout holes where it's literally one after another after another. Um, I've got a guy that wants to take me out flounder gigging at night. We're gonna do some videos out there with that. I've got a uh, another Savannah celebrity that I'm gonna get together with and we're gonna go out and do some sheep's head fishing. Um, I got a couple charter captains that have hit me up in the local area and a little bit down south. They wanna take me out and do some offshore stuff, some tarpon stuff. Uh, so I'm excited. I got a lot of good content coming out for you guys and for the channel. and. I hope you guys stay along for the ride. So that's it. Thank you guys. I'm Dan from Savannah. This is Low Country Fishing. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. God bless.